So here's a follow-up to the video I covered yesterday about the young gal that's throwing a giant temper tantrum because, God forbid, one of the guys that she works with wasn't paying attention to her. He wasn't making eye contact with her, and she did this whole post complaining about it and this whole thing, blah, blah, blah. And again, showing that it never ceases to amaze me the drama that these gals bring into the workplace, which is titled, Men in My Department Too Afraid to Make Eye Contact with Me. Now, this update is her yet complaining about more crap in the office, so it goes to show you that she is just one big, giant, spoiled complainer. First, it was about that guy in the office. Now, we're going to be on to new stuff here. And again, she's 25 years old, recently out of school, and in my opinion, she's been in the, the, the Gen Z, the Gen Z tarred bubble all these years where raised to believe that you're so special and everything's so easy and obviously she's used to guys paying attention to her all the time and here we go with more stuff that she's whining about and that was and this is titled feeling discouraged insecure and isolated at the internship says here i'm currently interning at a pretty big company non-tech and my position hardly involves any coding which i sort of expected i'm pretty much doing the work of a technical analyst with a system engineer job title for context, the other intern I work with is a man, and I feel like we are both different people. He is more outspoken and tries to go above and beyond. I, on the other hand, am more open to learn and sit back and listen. I feel like I do better with, with getting the team to like me versus him being better at the job itself. I've expressed wanting more opportunities to code. The most that's available is PowerShell scripting, but they still handle, handed these projects off to him with, while excluding me. My manager later met with me to let me know he wants me included in the project as well. So, as you can see, we're moving into the things aren't fair situation with her again. My manager is great, supportive man. I think he senses how I must feel because he's asked me to lead and not let the other intern step in. I know he knows the other intern probably does too much, but at the same time, no one can blame him. He's trying his best to get hired and look good as he graduates a year earlier than I am. That's probably it, and welcome to uh, the private sector. Welcome to the workforce, where people are going to compete to rise up in the world. And this isn't a situation where you know, everybody's going to hold hands and sing kumbaya. Yeah, this guy's obviously your competition. This is what it is. She says, I just feel like shit. I feel like I'm not doing the work I'd like to be doing. I tried to include myself in other projects, but so slow as they need me to be approached by managers in different departments. So most days I'm stuck solving tickets and self-teaching myself code and scripting. <clears throat> I'm often thinking of ways I can stand out, but at the same time, I don't really like the work I do. Lady, most people out there don't do like the work they do. Most people go to school for one thing and end up doing something completely different because that is a better opportunity for them. Or they, they take the job they want, but basically what's available is stuff they don't want to do. Again, welcome to real life. You've been in that protective bubble all these years. Now you're out of school, and this is real life. Stop complaining. Things aren't always going to go your way. I know you were raised to believe that you're super special, just like most of your generation. But guess what? You're not, and you're not entitled to shit, okay? And if you don't like it, okay, fine. Then you can finish your internship, because that's obviously the good experience, and you can go someplace else. But stop whining about it and acting like it's this attack on you. You're a big, spoiled baby. And just like in the other video, you're whining carrying on there too. She says, I understand it's important and I only took the internship because I was getting rejected everywhere else. She was getting rejected everywhere else. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because she was a pain in the ass. <clears throat> It's not just for me. I want to code, and most days I'm not. I'm trying to find opportunities to showcase my work or just get myself out there, but I get discouraged when the other interns get more opportunities by my colleagues. There are also hardly any women on the team to connect with. I just feel like they don't know what I'm capable of. Well, if she has a lot of skills and she's good at it, then by all means, I would hope that she'd be given a chance. But it sounds like she obviously is not as good as the other guy is, and but she thinks obviously she's more than she's worth. That's probably what's going on here, you know. If she was darn good what she's doing and she's being ignored on purpose, that'd be a different conversation because I am fair here. But I don't think that's the case. I also have ADHD and social anxiety. Aha, uh -huh. social anxiety. So maybe it's possible she's making a mountain of a lot of mole here, mole hills here 
as well, let's be honest, a lot of women tend to do. Which I'm actively working through with medication and therapy. I know this plays a large part of my internship experience, but I work hard and I fake it meaning people would probably not assume I have social anxiety. I push through my fears to appear social, but deep down I'm always feeling on the edge and that everyone thinks I'm not as good as the other intern, despite it being a pretty chill, non-stressful work environment. At the end of the day, I complete my work and everyone seems to be happy with me as we do as interns. It just seems that they, excluding my manager, give me more opportunities to the other intern, but I want to be seen. I've asked for feedback, but they all tell me I do a great job. <clears throat> I don't know how to move forward. I'm also scared of bringing this up to my manager. I know he'll be very understanding and hear me out, but I'm worried once he speaks to the rest of the team that will ruin my professional relationship with them because they will be actively told that they are providing more opportunities to the male intern and excluding the female intern. Is there any advice or steps I can make to make this situation better for myself? Well, I would obviously try to demonstrate through your work that you have obviously something to offer, but it's possible that just... And the other video, she was complaining because the guy wasn't making eye contact with her, God forbid, and she was feeling excluded, particularly just from that one guy. Maybe this, that the other intern is, has, is better at the job. He's got more skills. They like him more. He's more part of the group, if you will. And that's that. And simply, maybe she'll fit in someplace else. But if it was, if this was just the only thing she posted, maybe I could kind of understand this. But given the other one I posted earlier when she was making a big mountain of a molehill, because God forbid that guy would make eye contact with her, I really think, connecting the dots, she's just a big giant complainer. And she's also 25, and she's Gen Z. And Gen Z, the majority, have a certain reputation for being spoiled, entitled, in this protective bubble that they've been in forever. And they go out in the real world and realize, guess what? You're not that special. And not everything's going to be easy and thrown in your lap, and you have to work for it. And if, not, if everybody doesn't like you, guess what? Tough shit. It's not the end of the world. So I think what she's going through is a rude awakening of reality here. So to all the young people out there, you must understand that this is what's going to be real life once you get out there. So, but again, the bad guy, the other intern is being painted as the bad guy here. And all the other guys you can see are being painted as the bad guys. They're not giving her the chance. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe she isn't very good at her job. That's why she's, they're just doing enough to, okay, she's the intern. We'll let her do certain things, but and then she'll be out of here and go back to school or whatever. And this guy may be a promising hire down the road. But again, a lot of young people think that just, hey, I graduate from school, I'll get this job, I'll be paid all this money, and whether I do a good job or a bad job, I'm still going to get paid no matter what, and, and should should get promotions, and this, this, and this, and big raises every year, then it'll work that way. You know? And I think she's kind of a little warped on how things really work. And I've learned this by having knowing a lot of people in various lines of work that talk about the young people come in, it's always the same situation. But to always paint the guys as the bad guys over this, that's just a very uncool way of doing things. That can cause a lot of guys to potentially lose their jobs. But again, this goes to show you, just like another video, with guys, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. So yeah, another one, another example of her complaining, and I really think she's just a big whiner about these things. But then again, that's just me.